Hi friends, welcome to Appleby Academy's video classes. So in this video, we are going to discuss about fund flow statement and cash flow statement, which is a very important topic when you are dealing with the module accounting in which we are focusing this particular area on management accounting. Okay. So let's start with the first question from this area which got asked, asked in June 2019. Depreciation charged on fixed asset in the fund flow statement is or are source of funds, an application of fund, source of fund in limited sense added back to the operating profit to find out fund from operation. So this is actually asking or this particular question is mainly specifying about depreciation. So how we are treating this depreciation? Uh, in while preparing this fund flow statement so and you have to identify a combination of answer so when you're coming to this particular topic that is fund flow statement so firstly you should be able to identify what do you mean by fund flow statement so what do you mean by this fund flow statement fund flow statement is actually a technical device which is actually used for the analysis of different balance sheets okay with that balance sheet or with the balance sheet is actually depicting the financial position so you are making an analysis between these two statements or different balance sheets okay in a way that you will get a proper idea about uh, the sources of a particular company or the application that means how they got used their funds and the profit related to that concern you will get an overall idea about all these okay and another thing important that important thing that you have to keep in your mind is that when you are comparing or when you are comparing this fund flow statement with the cash flow statement fund flow statement is a non standardized format which which does not have a particular format that you should follow but when you are dealing with account i mean um, cash flow statement you should follow accounting standard if you are going with accounting standard you have to follow accounting standard 3 but there is no such a compulsion regarding to the format that means how you should present this fund flow statement okay so a technical device designed to highlight the changes in the financial position of the uh, business enterprise between two balance sheets. So here you are giving focus to the financial position. That's why we are taking this balance sheet. Okay. Which is used for analysis and interpretation of financial statement. We know that every, the, all these fund flow statement, cash flow statement, ratio analysis, we are using all these techniques in order to analyze or it, it is a, a part of financial statement analysis. Okay. And when you are coming to this particular area of fund flow statement, we are making this analysis into two sections sections the first one you are preparing a schedule for finding the changes in working capital and the other one is actually giving focus on the sources and application of fund that means how you got this fund and how you are going to use this particular fund okay so firstly we are giving focus only to working capital what is happening to working capital what about the change when you are comparing 
uh, the current assets and current liability in previous year and current year. What about the difference that you are uh, getting from uh, finding that? Okay, that that the thing we are actually analyzing in case of uh, this uh, schedule of changes in working capital. And the next one is about its sources and application. Okay, so coming to the an, a very important topic that is fund from operation. So what do you mean by the fund from operation? See, fund from operation means or it is actually a part of uh, that we will discuss in detail when we are going to discuss about the sources and application. So just before that, you just need to identify that is what is a fund from operation. So fund from operation is that the fund you are actually getting uh, through your operation of business. So you need to calculate it separately. Okay, so fund from operation is the cash flow generated by the operation of a business itself. So your, when you are preparing the statements, fund, fund flow statement, I said that you have two parts, sources and application. So this fund from operation is always considered as a source because it is an income or it is a fund you can use for a, your purpose, I mean for the uh, business future purposes. Okay, so we calculate fund from operation by adding non-operating expenses and deducting non-operating income from profit. So how you will calculate this fund from operation? So in order to get fund from operation or in order to find the value of fund from operation you should add the non-operating expenses you should add non-operating expenses and you should deduct non-operating incomes so this is the basic format that how you can calculate fund from operation so here you can see that profit and loss accounting closing balance is given and opening balance is also given so in order to find out current year profit you have to deduct it from it okay then now you are adding the various items which all are the items you are adding depreciation and depletion amortization in case of fixed asset provision for taxation transfer to reserve interim dividend paid proposed dividend loss on sale of fixed asset any other non cash expenditure so we are adding all the non cash expenditure with this with the current year profit then you need to deduct all non cash incomes okay so you have to deduct profit on sale of fixed asset dividend received appreciation of fixed asset so here you can see that you are you are taking depreciation so you need to take appreciation if there is an appreciation for fixed asset you should you should deduct it from this okay and here we are taking like loss on sale of fixed asset so you need to deduct if there is any profit you are actually getting by sale of this asset and if there is dividend paid is actually uh, we are adding it and if there is any amount of dividend received you should deduct it so the basic format is very important at least you should be able to identify which all are the items that you need to add in order to find out fund from operation and which all are the items you need to deduct in order to get the value of fund from operation okay so mainly you are adding depreciation, amortization, loss on sale of fixed asset, dividend paid, all these are, uh, all these items should be added while you need to deduct loss on sale of fixed asset, appreciation on fixed asset, dividend received, all these should be, uh, you have to deduct from it. Then you will get an amount of fund from operation. Okay. And now the question is whether depreciation is a source of fund. So depreciation is actually an amount of decrease in uh, the fixed asset, right? So we are actually recording this depreciation in our trading and PNL account. So in such a way that you can say that it is just an expenditure, it is a just a non-cash expenditure and uh, which is there is no need to consider it as a source of fund. But in another perspective or in an indirect way, you can say that we are recording the amount of depreciation in our trading and PNL account. So what is the result? You know that that will reduce your profit. Okay. So if your profit got reduced, ultimately that will reduce your tax liability in such a way that you can say that this amount of depreciation gives you some savings right so in such a way or in such a perspective we are considering this depreciation as a source of fund but in a limited sense okay and now coming back to our question depreciation charged on fixed asset in fund flow statement is or are source of fund we know that it is not at all a source of fund an application of fund no sources of fund in limited sense yes of course you can say that it is a source of fund but in a limited sense Option D, add it back to operating profit to find out fund from operation. So when we discussed about the format of uh, calculating fund from operation, we are adding depreciation or amortization. Such items we are actually adding because they are non-cash expenditure. Okay. So in such a way that you can say that D is also correct. So C and D should be there in our option. Yes. So the correct answer for this question is option D. 
which includes option C and option D. Okay. Next question. Sale of long-term investment shows application of fund, source of fund, change in current asset, change in current liability. So, what do you mean by this sale of long-term investment? Or for answering this particular question, you should know about the various sources and application of a fund. Okay. Let's see the sources and application of fund. So, what do you mean by the sources? Sources means uh, from where you're actually getting fund. Okay. And when it is about application, it is about the usage of those funds. Okay. Source means from where you're getting and application means uh, where you're using this fund. Okay. So, sources include issue of share capital. While you're issuing share, you will get the company will receive an amount as share capital. Then when you're issuing debentures, you will receive uh, debt capital, then rising long-term loans. In that situation also, the company is receiving fund, okay? In all these situations, the company is receiving fund, okay? Then sale of fixed asset, again, it will get, it will receive a huge amount. We are actually considering sale of fixed asset as a capital receipt, okay? Then sale of investment, fund from operation, that we already discussed that when uh, fund from operation is a source of application, then decrease in working capital. This decrease in working capital, we are actually calculating it with the schedule of changes in working capital. So, after preparing the schedule of working capital changes, if there is decrease, net to decrease is there, you should consider it as a source. Well, if there is any increase, you should take it as an application of fund. Then interest and dividend received. Interest and dividend received. Interest and dividend received means uh, the company got invested there uh, or the company have an investment in another company's securities. In such a situation, they will receive dividend. Okay. And if they got uh, invested in some other debt funds of another company, in that situation, they will receive interest. Okay. So that's the situation or all these are the sources of company. Issue of share capital, issue of debentures, rising long-term loans, sale of fixed asset, sale of investment, fund from operation, decrease in working capital and interest and dividend received. So if you are very aware of the source, very, you should, if you know about the sources very well, then you are able to connect it with the application. So the first situation is issue of share capital. And if you are redeeming, redeeming means you are giving it back. In that situation, you, you uh, there is an outflow. Your, your fund will be used, right? So in that situation, that will become a application. Then redemption of debentures, repayment of loan, you're repaying. So you need fund. Okay, you're using fund for uh, repaying that loan. Then purchase of fixed asset, that is a capital expenditure. Purchase of an investment, then fund lost in operation. So when we, uh, when we are, cal by calculating fund from operation, if you're getting negative value, then it will be considered as fund lost in operation. And if it is positive value, we will call them as fund from operation. Then increase in working capital. So decrease in working capital considered as a source. So increase in working capital is considered as a uh, application. Okay. And payment of dividend and tax. Payment of dividend tax means uh, the dividend that is actually paying by the company to its shareholders. Okay. So in all these situations, they are actually using their fund. That's why it is known as application of fund. So you should be able to identify which all are the sources and which all are the application of a fund. It's a very important topic. Okay, now it's very easy to answer this question. Sale of long-term investment shows a source, right? As we already discussed, sale of investment and fixed asset, all these are sources because in all these situations, the company receives fund. It's not an application, right? Then change in current asset and change in liability. Investment, it's a long-term investment. Okay, so it is a fixed asset. So there is no need to connect it with the current asset or current liability. Okay, so you can say that the correct answer for this question is option B. Next question, June 2020 and December 2021. And this question, it is asked about fund flow statement and cash flow statement. Fund flow and cash flow statements are important managerial tools and help the firm to know. Liquidity position, capital expenditure incurred, dividend paid, extent of external financing. So here we know that fund flow statement, cash flow statement, ratio analysis, all these are different tools used by the management for the purpose of financial statement analysis. Okay, so in this situation, you need to know uh, whether this fund flow and cash flow statement in, in which all are the situation that they are actually helping. So you, you should able to identify a combination of answers whether it helps, helps in liquidity position or capital expenditure incurred, dividend paid, extent of external financing. So for answering this question you should know what do you mean by cash flow statement. 
So this fund flow statement and cash flow statement, both these are managerial tools, which is used for the purpose of financial statement analysis. But we know that fund flow statement is giving focus to fund. Okay. But when you're comparing it with cash flow statement, it is giving focus only to cash. That means whether there is a cash inflow or whether there is cash outflow. We are discussing about the all transaction in the organization in such a perspective. That means whether this particular transaction result in any cash inflow or whether they got result in any cash outflow. This is a perspective that we are only discussing in case of a cash flow statement. So a financial statement that summarizes the amount of cash and cash equivalents entering and leaving a company. So here we are, as we are giving focus only to cash, we can say that here we are able to measure the liquidity position of a concern. Okay, with a cash flow statement, you can identify whether that particular company have sufficient liquidity. Okay, so such a analysis you can done with this simple cash flow statement. And this is used for developing some financial, uh, better financial policies as with this you are able to identify the liquidity position based on that you can take a various decision relating to that particular concern whether they need to raise fund from different sources or not like a number of decision can be taken uh, with the help of this cash flow statement and when you are comparing it with fund flow statement cash flow statement have a standardized pattern that is you need to follow if you are following accounting standard you need to follow accounting standard 3 and if it is about Indian accounting standard you need to follow Indian accounting standard 7 okay now coming back to this question fund flow and cash flow statement are important managerial tools and help the firm to know liquidity position with the cash flow statement you are able to analyze the liquidity position right uh, with the help of this uh, fund flow statement also in, in a particular way you can actually go through the liquidity position of a concern but which is giving more focus on this particular liquidity position that is by the cash flow statement even though both these statements are giving focus to this particular area and uh, more liquidity position is depicted in a cash flow statement. So we know liquidity position right then capital expenditure incurred what do you mean by this capital expenditure? When we discussed the sources and application, we got mentioned that we are giving like when you are purchasing a fixed asset, when you are purchasing an investment, all these are capital expenditure. So with that simple statement, you are able to identify how much amount you are, have been used for the purpose of capital or in the terms of capital expenditure. Okay, dividend pay. When you discussed about the sources and application, we also discussed that dividend paid is a application of fund which we already discussed then extent of external financing that means how much you are depending on a, an external source so that also you can actually identify from the source right uh, when when it is about uh, when you are rising funds through debentures loans all these are in, in all these situation you are rising fund using some external funding right so in that way also you can actually get an idea about the extent how much you got used your external financing which also you can identify when you prepare cash flow statement in in that also in cash flow statement also we are discussing about uh, the cash outflow or inflow with various activities like it can be related to operating activities investing activities and financing activity okay so now you are able to answer this question liquidity position will be there capital expenditure incurred can be included dividend paid will be included and extent of external financing so the correct answer for this question should include all these options Yes, A, B, C, D. So the correct answer for this question is option C. So in this video, we discussed previous year questions from the area of fund flow statement and cash flow statement. While you're dealing with this topic, just try to give focus to various sources and application. You need to able to identify what are the sources and what are the applications. So I hope this video will help you for your preparation. Thank you and happy learning.